Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So I am going to go over my uh, budget with me from last week. And I had already stapled, what I do, sorry, what I do at the end of every month is I staple everything together. And I had done that before I was like, oh wait, I still have to do my, my budget with me. So that was my normal craziness. So anyways, um, then after we you know close out this week i will go to the next week and um go there so i was wrong about my husband's pay i don't know what i was thinking last week i think i was just completely off with my dates and stuff but um it was different for uh it was more than we expected because um that one day the one the week where he only got paid for four days was actually this this friday so um you know, I apologize for the confusion or whatever on that. I was, I don't know. It was, you know, Christmas and everything coming up and everything. It was just one of those weeks. So, um, anyways, he got paid uh, six ninety three, and then we had DoorDash enough to make up for the difference to make this eight fifty. So that was one fifty seven, and then we did roll over the twelve forty seven. So, we'll add all that together. So that comes to 2097. Uh, life insurance was 19. Cell phone did come out for 319, and I did pay the Apple for 180. I didn't include my uh, school meals for the girls because they're not in school right now for the winter break, so um, we didn't have to take that into account. So, anyway, so we'll take the 2097 minus the 518 dollars that we paid in bills, which is 1579 left over. This pen is just about dead. Okay, and yes, we did um, for groceries that we did all of this, so it comes out to three ninety five, which leaves eleven eighty four. And we did do all this for two ninety five, so we'll subtract that, which leaves us with eight eighty nine. which is what we're gonna roll over to leave us with a zero, sorry, I wasn't in frame very well there, a zero base budget. So that is that for this week. I'm gonna go get myself a different pen because this is gonna drive me nuts. All right, so I have my new sheet for the week of 12.31 to the 6th of January. And um, this is on the sweaters sheet that I have. Um, if you go to my Etsy shop, which there is a link in the description box below, um, there is a, you, there, my link is there and you can go to see all the different patterns that I have. Um, if you buy the bundle, it's a lot cheaper and you can print them as many times as you want to. So um, also in the community tab, there's a couple posts down. There's actually a discount code in there for my YouTube followers. So. Um, you're welcome to use that as well for a discount. Okay, so his paycheck was five fourteen. Mine is fifteen sixty six. I get paid twice a month. He gets paid every week, and this actually does not. Um, it's not a full forty hours. It was like twenty nine some in some hours. So the plant closed, and then he had to leave early one day. So, and then rollover was. It's not the right week. 889. And then snowball, that snowball payment, I had taken um, money, out, I had on previous posts for like probably the last, what, two months or so, I was instead of putting $40 into my car maintenance and $40 into my massage when I didn't need to, I was putting that money aside for a debt snowball. And then additionally, um, any money that we had received in tips was going towards that and I was basically building that money up. And it wasn't an overnight thing, it, you know, it was something that we were working towards. Additionally, when my husband got paid extra, we would put that money towards the debt snowball. So that's where I got this money from. And then I also um, emptied out several of my envelopes that I had been using um, for sinking funds because I felt that 
I wasn't planning, I wasn't actually, I couldn't justify buying fireworks when I had debt to pay off. So that's why I did that. But um, the snowball payment was twenty nine thirty one, and then I had to make another line for DoorDash. But I'm gonna I'm going to account for zero right now because we don't know exactly how much that will be. Um, we get paid next week on Monday, so or in a couple of days. So let's total this up. So five fourteen fifteen sixty six eight eighty nine and twenty nine thirty one is fifty nine hundred. All right, and then the bill, the bills that we have to pay this week are mortgage, which is seven hundred. Let's see, iCloud, two, Life three sixty is three. A recurring security fee, which I believe is our bank. I think it's our safety deposit box or something with the fee with the bank. It's a credit union. So, and then my car payment. 450 and then our bank card is 320 comes up to 1477 7900 minus 1477 comes to 40 4423 all right move that up here and this is 345, so we'll take that out of there, which leaves us with 4078. And I did have to condense some of these. I didn't have enough spots, but it all comes out the same um, as previously, which is 295, which is $3,783. All right, so this is the interesting part. So uh, for PayPal, I'm gonna write down the debts first. PayPal, Chase, and Amazon. PayPal, we made a payment of $704. It was actually $703.63, but I'm going to round up. Chase was $893. Again, I rounded up. And then Amazon was 1000 $335. So let's total those up. 704, which is 2932. So 3783 minus 2932 is $851, which is what we're going to roll over for next week which leaves us with a zero base budget. All right, and that is it for this budget. Again, um, if you like these type of designs and there's other designs as well, I believe there's a total of five, um, go to my Etsy shop, that link is below and uh, take a look. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day, bye.